What's up everyone? This is a new account called the FinCast. And I'm I'm Spencer. This is Brandon. Today we're gonna to be talking about the draft and um everything that, that that's going on with the dolphins right now and what we like know of. Wait later, later we're gonna start talking about their history. But for now, let's talk about what we're gonna talk about today. And before we start, we both have TikTok accounts. Go follow us. Baseball Legends right here. Say yours. Spencer Jones 232323. Yeah, whatever he said. Go follow that TikTok account. So, okay. So, and first thing we want to talk about is what did you think about the draft, Brad? Didn't like it. Never did I. I mean, what are we thinking of for cornerback? We already got Kader Kohu. He's a good cornerback three. He had a great year. Xavier Howard, cornerback two. Great. And, and Ramsey. And Ramsey. Of course, Ramsey. Apparently, we're switching him to safety, though. Even I, I guess, but we got to Sean, but we got to Sean Elliott from the Lions. I mean, well, he's we a need good one. A backup free safety. Uh, I guess Brandon Jones is a strong safety. I guess, yeah. But what? About, what are we doing for? For what did we take? Also, oh, we got that running back receiver. What are we doing with that receiver? We got Tyreek and Waddle. We don't need anything. Either, anything else. We're transferting him to tight end. Uh, I'd rather do a real tight end. How about that? Yeah, we should have got Darnell Washington. He he was already ta he was already taken. No, he wasn't. He uh, Tucker Craft was already taken, and Darnell Washington got taken after. Oh, we were stupid then. Yeah. So, anyway, I also think that it is definite that Dalvin Cook is a Miami Dolphin. I agree. Today we are at his house, and um, that I don't have a a Dolphin shirt today because I did not bring one. So. Next time we do it, I will have a dolphin shirt, and we'll both look like we're actually dolphin people. Well, I'm, we are, because why would we be talking about that? Well, yeah, we are, but like we'll actually like look like it. Yeah, and and then, and as you see in the back, we are massive dolphin fans. Yeah, that's, just look at that room. Yeah. Anyway, I also want to talk about something, Spencer. Yeah, what's up? Tua Tagovailoa. Okay. I want to. I just let me talk. Let me talk. Mm -hmm. Tua. We should not think of him as, as the injury guy anymore. He's not. If you go look out, I'm going to shout out there because I'm, because I'm, I don't want suing and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm fine. The monetization, it's fine. It's not going to happen. I'm just saying, uh, you know, there's this one guy that posted a video. I do not know how it's called, but it's called Tua 2.0. Go check out his channel. He made that video. Um, so if you check that out, he, he said it. He, he's a really good YouTuber. He's much more successful than us. Because um, we just started. Yeah. We have TikTok accounts. Those, those are more successful. Um, but he looks so buff. His shoulders are popping out. His legs are more muscular. He's not going to get injured this year. We're a Super Bowl contender. We are winning the Super Bowl when we get Dalvin Cook. Well, we're going to get Dalvin Cook, but even if we don't, we're, we're Super Bowl contenders, and there's nothing to say else. But let's not jinx the Dolphins, but we got it. But, but we're going to do – but let's just say I don't want to hear anything about – the Jets getting Aaron Rodgers. Oh my God! Now they're better than the Dolphins. Who is better than Rodgers? Probably. None of that. None of that. The Dolphins on top. Is Jared Wilson better than than Tyreek Hill? And do not say Sauce Gardner is better than Jalen Ramsey. You better not. Jalen Ramsey's better than Sauce. And Gardner. don't even say Tre'Davious White. Jalen Ramsey's better than Tre'Davious White too. Yes, bro. Don't say that. We have the best defense in the AFC. AFC period. AFC, maybe, yes, 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 actually, yeah. Not NFC, the, the, uh, either of us are the 49ers, 49 49ers. 49 49ers not in the AFC, though. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, if you're talking about the NFC, too. The, the Niners and the Cowboys are, are contenders with us. Probably, the Cowboys probably do, because Parsons is a beast. Oh, also, Xavier Howard and Jalen Ramsey are a ten times better duo than Gilmore and Dix. Well, yeah, but they're really good, too. But if you, if you, if you add in that Parsons, they're better, because Parsons is crazy. Mm-hmm. And there's also a debate that me and him have had. I, if you're all kids, you might be adults. If you're adults, you'll agree with me. If you're kids, you'll probably agree with him. Bob Greasy is the best Dolphin quarterback of all time. No, Dan Marino. Bob Greasy is. Now, let me say why. No, a lot of adults Dan say Dan Marino too. And yes, but a lot of adults wouldn't. Bob Greasy won two my, Super my Bowls. My dad says Dan Marino's better. One, two, and your dad says Bob Greasy's better. One, two, two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowls, one of them being the only undefeated season in NFL history. Okay, but that was because he had Larry Zonka, Paul Warfield, Mercury Morris, Mercury Morris, Marlon Briscoe, Larry Little, Jay Scott, Nick, exactly. Bonac Nick Bonacani, I'll name them all, uh, Earl Morrill backing him up. 
uh, Gary O'Primian, Jim Mandich. Better. He's better. He's the best. All right. But we... All, all right. So, bro... Okay, I, I, I just backed out because I was like, there is no way. So, I will explain real stats here. Dan Marino had to go against Joe Montana in the Super Bowl. He threw so fast. Even the Niners had trouble Wait, with Greasy, him. Greasy had to go to Joe Montana. No, he went like this. Joe Mon Greasy had to go do Joe Montana on the end of his career, and he beat him every single time. No, he did not. Yes, he did. And how would you know that? Because he only won two Super Bowls. That was just two really good seasons. Yeah, well, he's in three, and Shula came around. Shula, we can both agree that Shula was the best coach of all time. No one better yes. than Shula. Yes, yeah, definitely. Shula, Shula's better than Madden. Shula's better than... Belichick. Belichick. Belichick sucked, okay? The only, the only one who was, the only one who's a contender time because he's named after the fucking Super Bowl trophy is is Vince Lombardi. But uh, but Don was better still. But Vince Lombardi is better than Bill Belichick too. You agree? Yes, I do. And... Just a heads up for the season, if you, if my partner here agrees, we will be doing maybe like 10 minute live streams in the middle of each Dolphin game, mm -hmm. you think we should do? Yeah, if we hang out, yeah. Yes, which we probably will, because we usually see all, every Dolphin game together. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we could get, depends how many likes we'll get, if we can get like, if we can work, because I know the starting channel, we're probably getting like, like two likes and whatever, two viewers, whatever. But if we work our way up to get a hundred likes, me and him will go to a dolphin game and we'll we'll film we'll film like ten minutes of it there. Yeah, we promise. We don't lie. We don't lie. Yeah. So next and and we will film since I have a I have a I have an inside friend that can get me to meet Tyreek Hill. I will film Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle with you. You okay. will see him. N n next conversation is. Do not say Tua is an is a concussion quarterback. Tua. We already went over that. Yeah. Yeah, but what they do? Just don't. Well, we didn't say concussion now. Yeah, I know. Tua is a quarterback that's gonna get right back out there and literally, literally throw complete dots. Did you hear what Mike McDaniel said this year? Mike McDaniel said Tua has has a crazy throw. He just has concussion problem. He just has, has been having concussion, but he has a great throw that quarterback most quarterbacks can't make. So yeah, well besides Mahomes and all of them, but and I want to. Can I go back, Spencer? Can I can I go back on the Dalvin Cook conversation? Yeah, of course. can we go back on that? Yeah, of course. Dalvin Cook, I know I said this already. Dalvin Cook is a Miami Dolphin. He wasn't at the Vikings practice. Yeah, I read online. He um. Wouldn't he get suspended then? No, he wouldn't get suspended. Why? Because. You know, he, his, did you see um, Zeke? You all, he, he was practicing with Prescott. And um, Dalvin Cook was here in Miami looking for, like, for with his family. And his, he, in Miami. Guess what other teams in Miami? Dolphins, baby. Dolph fins up, do it. Safety, fins up. This is, fins. probably shouldn't do that because it's a safety. We don't want safeties, do we? I'm just saying fins up, though. Oh, <sighs> yeah, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Our offensive line is fixed, and I don't care what you say. We're getting a new offensive lineman from the Titans, number seven. And I'm just saying, Vic Vangio is going to really help us. Oh, Vic Vangio. Best defense. Best defense in the league, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, so, he, so he, now say what you're saying about the offensive line. Is, is he, is, is Vic Vangio the best defensive coordinator in the league? I think so. What do you think? I do think so, too. And do not say we're biased. We are not biased. I'm biased. Bro Bronco? Totally biased. Nah, we're not. Um, now listen, here. Vic Vangio made five safeties that he was on his team, Pro Bowl contenders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so exactly. Sean Elliott is now a Pro Bowl contender. So is Javon Holland. Javon Holland is third best safety in the league, and I'm ranking him that. And I don't care what you say. Uh, okay. I mean, what, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're, like we said, we're not biased about that. We just, Vin Vanders is a great, great defense coordinator. And Ramsey's awesome. I will say, Slay had a heck of a year, but we're getting back at them and we're going to do now, great. I have one thing to tell you. What? All that fuss about Tyreek Hill retiring, by the way, I know exactly what's going to happen. Tyree Kill, yes, he will get old. Don't get me wrong. 
Tyreek Hill is saying, hey, he's going to say, hey, I'm not going to retire. I'm going to stay with the Dolphins. But since he's going to be old and Jalen Waddle's going to advance in his career, Jalen Waddle's going to be probably one of the best receivers in the league by then. So Jay, behind Chase. Jalen Waddle will be the wide receiver one for the Miami Dolphins and more Tyreek Hill will be the wide receiver two so he doesn't get hurt as much. And one thing I will say, if you say Devontae Smith or Amontra St. Brown, the only one who is better than that than Waddle in that draft is Chase. If you say anything like a mom Ross St. Brown or Devontae Smith is better than, than Jalen Waddle, then shut the hell up, bro. Jalen Waddle is fast. He yeah. can juke. Get by anyone he's fast and at, pass he, it. You know, next year he's gonna be better than Chase. I don't care what anyone says. Better than him? Yeah, maybe not better than Chase. But... Yeah, Chase is good. Who's better though? A mom Ross St. Brown or, or Waddle and or, or Devontae Smith? Jalen Waddle. Yes. He even might be better than AJ Brown. Nah, AJ Brown's really good. Yeah. And all that, also another fuss about J Justin Jefferson being this, he made one good catch, okay? All right. And what about Tyreek's catch? Where's the credit on okay, that? Okay, no, no, no. Wait, week one against the Patriots, look up um, Tyreek Hill's one-handed grab. Mm -hmm. And you know why that catch is better than J Justin Jefferson's? Justin Jefferson fell down after the catch. Tyreek Hill made the same catch, but he stood up and kept and, running. Yeah, like Justin Jefferson, if he... If he kept on running, I'd say maybe. But Justin Jefferson, just because his height, Tyreek Hill's been in the league so much longer. It's more of a pro bowler. He he's okay. Okay, fine. Jefferson's catch was better because he was like being hanged on. But at the same time, but that didn't that means nothing. Who's got more speed, Tyreek? Who's better route, Tyreek? Everything. Who's who's has more experience, Tyreek? I mean, also, and, and, and one thing, who had more receiving yards before Tua got hurt? And more receptions and more everything before Tua got hurt. Oh, you know what? How about how, here? T take take a walk with me. Take, yeah. Take a walk with me. Look at this, right here. Tyree Kill becomes fastest receiver to one. I don't know if it's probably mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. I'm sorry about that because it you know the phone it's mirrored and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tyree Kill becomes fastest receiver to a thousand yards in Super Bowl era nine games. Game nine against the Chicago Bears. And look, look at that. Look at that back foot. Look at that back foot. Yeah, I mean, and T Tyreek just, he literally catches it, and he like, helmet. jukes everyone, right, right through. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he? Yeah. This is our studio gonna be, we yeah. might go to his house and stuff, you know. All right, anyway. Yeah, I have, a, I have a nice dolphin house too, right? Yeah, he's, he's in, he has a dolphin room at his house too. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in on the first episode of the FinCast. We'll catch you next time, and like, subscribe. Thanks.